Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. Over the years, there have been several different genres of reality TV making their splash on cable networks. But it was Lifetime that took a chance on a much needed story to be told. Little Women LA, which debuted in 2014, has exploded into pop culture and has enlightened its viewership about the nuances in the lives of little people. Cast member Jasmine Arteaga Sorge has been its breakout star. She is a mother of two who has musical aspirations that she works on in order to balance herself and her sanity. Here is Jasmine of Lifetime's infectious and heartwarming series, Little Women LA, only on American Latino TV. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. Like, like, for example, people might look at me and say, oh, she's a little person, she's not good enough for this job. Or, but it's like, you have no idea what I can do until you give me that chance. Hi guys, I'm Jasmine Artiega sorge and I'm a singer, I'm a mother of two, and I'm on the hit show of Little Women LA. All right, you guys, stretch it out, and I will see you next week. Girl, that was yeah. challenging. Does my booty look different? Mm-hmm. Okay, tight. Good. <laughs> tight. I think Little Woman of LA is doing so great because it's a different kind of show, and we're teaching the world about little people. And we are just like everyone else. So we have our drama, we have our laughs, and we have our cries. And I think people really enjoy that. Would you prefer an average-sized child over a little child? I would probably pick average. I'm looking at the health reasons and that fear of your mm -hmm. child going through what I went through. It was so painful. So you went through pretty bad? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My type of dwarfism is called cartilage hair hypoplasia. And it not only affects my bones to make me small, but it affects my hair. So growing up, I was called baldy. I was called midget or little shrimpy. And those words are so derogatory and rude and they would really offend me. I was born this way. I didn't choose to be a little person. And growing up was extremely hard. So the correct term is little person because we are a person, we're just little. Are you guys separated right now? I had him stay at a hotel. I'm not gonna lie about it. I was scared for Leona and the baby. I don't want this friendship to end, but I, I don't think I could be supportive of him right now. Before I finally accepted who I was, I was a very angry person. And when people would look at me, I would be like, F off, what are you looking at? I would, I would be very angry and very mad. And my mom would tell me, you don't know what they're looking at. They might be looking at you like they think you're beautiful or they love your shoes or they love your bag. But anytime somebody would look at me, I would think of negative thoughts. Can you believe I was in my 20s when I finally decided to love and accept myself as a little person? It took years and it feels so good to just break through and be yourself. Eat up. My mommy doesn't want to be the only one with a belly. Love our new baby. <laughs> I actually am married to an average sized man. Um, he's about 5'11". And I've never dated a little person. I just always wanted tall guys in my life. Um, I will never forget when I went to an LP convention, Little People of America convention, uh, I was given certain eyes because sometimes they think that we should be with little people. I felt left out around my own type of people. So it, it was something like an eye opener, like, come on, you guys, we have to support each other. I took a test this morning and after months of trying to have another baby, I'm pregnant. I feel like this season is unlike any of the others. We finally know who we are and America needs to get ready for season six because it is a great one.